does NATO inhibit mTOR? Should you eat NATO on the weekend by NATO King? That's something I'd like to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Sachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. Right, okay, so today, again, I'd like to answer a question on the comment section of this uh, the, the YouTube channel. Yeah, uh, the one question I got is, uh, do you think NATO inhibit mTOR? You know, mTOR, so we have autophagy and mTOR, right? So autophagy is the key for longevity. Yeah, you need to activate autophagy, and that's why you practice intermittent fasting, you do exercises, and you do deliberate heat exposure and cold exposure and so on. Yeah, autophagy activation is key uh, to your health and longevity, right? Okay, and mTOR is a kind of an opposite of autophagy. It's uh, responsible for growth, yeah? So it can be beneficial for, you know, children or, you know, athletes and so on, but if you are aiming for longevity, maybe it is better to inhibit mTOR, right? So I practice uh, something called Hale and K intermittent fasting, uh, and then I usually practice intermittent fasting during the week, but not on the weekend. The weekend is off day. I have three meals a day. So this is because I try to activate autophagy during the week. And then on the weekend, I try to activate mTOR because the balance between the two is critical. You don't want to activate autophagy all the time. Yeah, right. So when you practice Hare and K intermittent fasting, the week, during the week is the autophagy activating period and the weekend is mTOR activating period. And the NATO is considered to activate autophagy. So that means it can inhibit mTOR. Yeah, so that was the question. Does NATO inhibit mTOR? Okay, so uh, to talk about it, uh, let me share one video I made before. It's called Five Health Benefits That Make Natto the King of Superfoods. In this video, I gave five points. It helps your longevity. It contributes to stronger bones. It helps your blood flow. It boosts your immune system. And it helps your skin. Uh, the first part, your, it helps your longevity. Um, so autophagy, the cellular recycling process that I just talked about, yeah, is the key. And sperm, spermdin is a polyamine which can activate it, yeah. And natto seems to contain the highest amount of spermdin among the spermdin rich foods. Uh, for example, natto contains. 56.1 micrograms per gram, while miso contains 14.4 microgram per gram, and soy sauce 12.1, and red wine 0.16, uh, and so on, right? So that means natto is a great autophagy activating food. Okay, so does it mean natto inhibits mTOR? So this is something I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I sort of checked on the internet and then uh, things like grapes, berries, turmeric, coffee, and green tea seem to inhibit mTOR. So I found uh, these food to be mTOR inhibitors, but not natto. Yeah, because natto contain protein, a lot of protein too. Um, you know, protein usually activate mTOR, especially animal-based protein. You know, uh, basically amino, animal-based amino acid uh, does activate mTOR a lot. So natto is a plant-based, so not as strong as animal-based protein, uh, but it is something uh, not clear, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't think food uh, determine the activation of autophagy or mTOR so much. The main activator is fasting. Yeah, the fasting is the key mTOR inhibitor and it is the key uh, activator of autophagy. 
Yeah. Therefore, the fact that you practice fasting during the week and then eating three meals a day on the weekend makes the big difference. And it doesn't really matter what else you do. So even if you, you know, drink coffee or, you know, drink red wine and eat grapes and berries on the weekend, I don't think it affects that much as long as you're eating three meals a day, plus you're including a lot of animal-based protein or animal-based amino acid. Uh, I think you are activating mTOR. Yeah. And as for the exercises, um, endurance exercise seems to inhibit mTOR more than resistance training. So if you go jogging and things on the weekend, it can inhibit mTOR. Yeah. But if you do a resistance training, not so much yeah, compared to endurance exercise. Yeah. So in my case, I do resistance training on Saturday. I usually do a body weight hit on Saturday. Um, so uh, it, yeah, it, it probably, you know, doesn't apply to this, but sometimes I go, you know, mountain hiking or, uh, yeah, uh, walking or cycling on the weekend, which can inhibit them too. But again, maybe I don't need to worry too much about it as long as I'm eating three meals a day. And then in the meals, I include animal-based protein. I don't think I need to worry too much about it. Yeah. So, so that means, uh, can I eat natto on the weekend? Uh, well, technically speaking, maybe I can, right. Uh, but, so uh, I made another video called, can you eat natto too much? What is the appropriate amount of eating natto per day? Um, so in the video, uh, I say two packs max. Yeah, so it is considered in Japan that about 100 grams, which is two packs of natto, uh, is the maximum amount of natto that you should eat. Yeah, so that means after two packs is okay. It is okay. Yeah, right. Uh, however, there is a, a a doctor in Japan called uh, Aimi Kuroda, uh, who is a triathlon athlete as well, and then she says. Any kind of food, whether it is a super food, yeah, like excessive amount isn't good. Yeah, if you eat something every day, it probably isn't good for you, even though it is a great food. She makes an example of yogurt. She doesn't talk about natto, but I believe it is the same. So I don't want to eat natto every day, and maybe a pack a day is safe. Yeah, uh, you can eat up to two packs a day, but pack a day, which is about 50 grams, is probably safe. Yeah, and then if you have a pack of natto five days a week, maybe that would be the best, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, so therefore, uh, in my case, I don't eat natto on the weekend because it is mTOR activating period and maybe natto doesn't affect so much, but still, uh, in this way, uh, I can, you know, reduce my natto intake to more a moderate level, right? Okay, so if you want to know more about high and K intermittent fasting and how I manage with my protein intake and so on, please read my book, Ikigai Biohacking, Biohacking based on Japanese natural health. Yeah, it is available both uh, for Kindle and paperback on Amazon. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Hachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and Ikigai Biohacking. And if you like this video, please give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And please leave your comment. Yeah, do you eat natto on the weekend? Or, you know, how do you practice Hale and K intermittent fasting? You know, how do you manage your protein intake and, you know, and, and so on? Right. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. Live with your Ikigai.